So we'll start with 414. Um, I find if you get too far out, it gets quite boomy and, and, and it's quite difficult for the player to stay in position, which when you're miking acoustics, that's absolutely key, you know. Really, you can't move, you know, because it's especially if you want to do any drop-ins, you know, like a little bit of that and it's gone, you know. So it's kind of good, good practice to have mic techniques that either uh, use, you know, um, the twelfth fret as as a marker. You know, if you if you if you if you're miking with a pair of mics here, you can say like, oh, you know, if you can make sure that that's pointing at the twelfth fret, it can really help them get back you know, in place in between takes so that you can use multiple takes, otherwise it becomes impossible to comp them together. Um, I mean, I, I, this, this single mic technique's really good for, you know, sort of just a good all-round acoustic sound. I, I tend to use it on figure eight. Um, I find it a lot more open sounding and also, you know, it, it sort of, it, you, you get a little bit of that room thing um, and then you get, because the null point's here, you're not getting the sort of, the breathing of the singer or guitar player in this instant. But um, what, what I find is that if you if you sort of, if they're looking down a bit, which they tend to at the car, it's kind of like pointing it at the, at the center of their face is a good starting point. And then sort of across the, across the sort of top curved bit of the guitar, um, you know, and yeah, let's, let's hear that. It's just like a near coincident pair, um, pair of KM 184s. Um, you, in theory, you could do this with any sort of pencil mic, or I mean, you could even do it with a pair of 57s if you wanted. But I mean, this kind of microphone is ideally suited for this sort of application. Um, I'm quite a, a, a distance away because um, that can help the sort of stereo, stereo image to settle down. And you know, you don't really need to be that close with acoustic stereo miking in my opinion. Um, so yeah, you've got one pointing at the body, one pointing at the neck, probably about 18 inches away or a foot and a half. This is a, a, a brighter sound, um, um, probably not so good for finger picking, you know, it's, it's, it's you know, um, it's more suited for strumming and I mean if you were going to do finger picking on you'd probably have to open the gain of the mic right up and it would have to be very sort of soft and consistent finger picking because of the distance, you know. Um, okay, so let's have a listen to this. Okay, so this the final technique is uh, an XY pair, which. Um, Again, it's a little posher sounding and a bit more open and ringy, but because of the nature of the mic positions, it's a, it's a bit more focused, you know? <laughs> 